Minnesota is really having a tough season, Mr. Vitale. I'll tell you one thing. This team is drowning in a sea of its own ineptitude. The coach feels that playing below 500 is a disgrace, and it might be too late to save face. for the possession and they move it up the floor. Cutter flashes in the lane. In the paint. He fires it up. And it rattled around and he got the shooter's roll. And now they'll bring it up. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Number 15. Fires. He gets the shot to fall. And he takes some flight on the defensive end. Player cuts through the lane. Screen up on top. Defense giving no room. Trying to pack it inside. He looks to knock it in. And he missed. Three on two opportunity here. Oh, and it's blocked. The shooting guard receives the pass. He gets the rejection. Uses the V-cut to try to get free. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Pass intercepted. Hey, Brad, you can't follow a guy all the way across the court and expect to get a pass to him. Number 21 draws the personal. First one is good. What coach you think's had the biggest impact on college basketball? I think mean, when you think about impacts, you've got to think about Michelangelo, Dean Smith, with many of the trends that are utilized, the pressure defenses, the fact that teams huddling at the foul line, people giving high fives, pointing to each other when they make a pass. He's created so much during his tenure uh, prior to his retirement. Certainly the Michelangelo of coaching, and certainly a guy that's made a big impact in the coaching fraternity. Got to think right now, got to focus defensively. Now the high screen, number 15, makes the lay-in. Classic battle going on down in the post. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Number 34, for two. And it rattled around and he got the shooter's roll. The boys are working hard down in that weak side block. Trying to use a V-cut to open up. Defense giving no room. A high screen. And up off the glass. They get a back screen. Number three receives the ball. Defense stays keen with the switch off the screen. shot fake he turns the defender on the crossover had to adjust the shot and got the tough deuce the offense sets up from the sideline shows patience waiting for the reset Boys have a nice little duel going on in the weak side post, Brad. Number 24 makes a great move to draw the foul. Check this one out. With the free one. It goes in. Trying to get him trapped in the corner with the ball. That's picked off. Hey, kid's got great defensive court sense. Fast break possibility coming. 
And he scores it off the glass. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. He shoots from the angle. They let him get into a rhythm. He'll regroup the offense. They pick up the screen on the switch. Both teams are shooting very well, Dick. You know what that means, Brad? What's that? Nobody's playing D. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Good pressure here by the defense. They get a screen set down in the paint. For three. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Stolen pass. And he read his eyes on that one, Brad. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. He went straight to the hole in a two-on-one, Brad. Man on the wing trying to get open with a V-cut. Number 34, for two. He hits the lane hard to the hoop. Oh, easy one. High post flashes for the opportunity. Number 13 picks up the defensive foul. First personal foul. Makes his first. Makes his second shot. Pressure on a basketball. Way to play the ball. Tough. Drive him, beat him, turn him, beat him to his spot. Defense gets right up on him. Number 15 with a swat. Obvious foul. He gets the bucket to drop and gets the foul. He felt the pressure on the way up, but managed to keep himself focused on the rim. He gets it to go. Being pushed towards the trap. Number 34 handles the pass. 10 second call. That'll be 100 sprints of practice, Mr. Nestle. Tries to work the V cut to get open. Number 21 is pounded on his way up. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. at the charity strike. Got it from the free throw line. There's a steal. High post flashes for the ball handler. Number 12 handles the feed. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Back screen being set. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Xavier finds themselves on the wrong end of this, and they're going to call a timeout. They have to find a way to stop these guys. Simple as that. Back to the action now to half court. Let's see what they set up, Dick. Here's a flash from the high post. And up off the glass. They score the basket off the great pass. It was a great pass because it was a simple pass, Brad. They're set to throw it in from the side. Number 15 is called for the defensive foul. Fifth team foul. First shot, good. Got to make the freebies. Well, the coach doesn't like what he's seeing right now. He's called a timeout. What kind of energy are we looking at for that timeout, Dick? That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. And up off the glass. Makes it. Try to drive. Number 13 for two.
They deliver the back screen. Number 12 for two. And it rattled around and he got the shooter's roll. Steals a pass. He's got a cutter to the hoop. Number 34 unloads a three. They move to set up a back screen. Defense not fooled by the screen as they make the switch. They work the perimeter. Nice step out to get the pass. And up off the glass, number 24 for two. Minnesota is cutting loose on the offense tonight. Hey, every mistake the defense makes, they're capitalizing on it, Brad. The postman comes from up high to set a pick. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Dump it inside. Great anticipation defensively. Nice little handball. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. Easy one. Defense elects to front the post. And up off the glass. Defense fronts the post and tries to force the lob. He makes the shot. Here's an option on the cutter. With a deep two, he hits the shot. Great denial in the post as they want to force the lob. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Strong move to the hoop ball for three on two break. It's a screen down low. He drains the bucket. They want to force a soft lob when they deny the post. Number 21 gets the pass. Sideline inbounds. Number 21 from right of the circle. Very well back to a cup, but it's not there. Good defensive help. He nails the long-range bomb. Number 21 takes the feed. It's a hoop and a foul. He showed good concentration on possession, Brad. To the line. Nope. Number 50 gets position for the offensive board. Timeout's called. What do they need to do to get some of this momentum in their favor, Dick? They got to get the blood flowing, baby. They need a big dunk or a steal or a block. Something to get them excited. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. Tries the shot. Great play to take that to the basket. He takes the shot off the baseline. At halftime, the Musketeers are trailing by 10. We've had a tooth and nail battle so far, Dick. What was the play of the half, do you think? Basket of the foul right here is my highlight, baby. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds.
Ball's coming from the sideline. Shooter fades behind the arc off the pick. Off the rim and no good. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Holds off the defender and gets the pass. Number 15 for two. Hey, Brad, it's embarrassing to get scored on like that. Screen set for the fade out to the three-point line. And it rattled around, and he got the shooter's roll. Down low screen being set. Nice little closeout. Look at that spacing. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Number 32 for two. And it rattled around, and he got the shooter's roll. They get the down low screen. Takes the three-pointer. And it rattled around, and he got the shooter's roll. Defense playing up. Ferocious defense tonight, Dick. Hey, are you kidding me? They're making me nervous. Wow, listen to him, Dick. This place belongs to the students, baby. He shoots from the elbow. Goes in. Big man coming down to set the in screen. Number 21 for two. Got a guy right up on him. Number 34 for two. Number 21 for two. The Golden Gophers lead by 11. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Not getting great looks in terms of perimeter threes. Defense really extended on that perimeter line. Two picks up the foul. First team foul. Hit the replay button on that one. Number 50 to the line. Misses the free one. They're not getting the balls to fall from the line. Hey, if I were the coach of this team, I would make them run so many lines, I would pass out from watching them run, Brad. In screen being set by the post player. Number 34 will try for three. Defense taking away any open looks. Perfectly executed. He stepped out away from the defense to get that pass. Just put a little mustard on that, baby. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Picks off the lazy pass. Here they come now on a turnover. Leans in. Great mid-air adjustment for the score.
He fires away. Number 15 makes the finger roll. He wants a three. In and out. And up off the glass. Defense closes out. Good fundamentals. Number 34 with the tray. The big man moves downward to set the pick. center every play. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. Number 15 is whistled for the defensive foul. Third personal foul. He is going to the line. Rims out. And the free throw woes continue. This is an embarrassing display of free throw shooting, Brad. I'm going to T.O., baby. We'll see who's got more coming out of this timeout as play resumes. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Number 21 for two. And it rattled around and he got the shooter's roll. They're right on top of that pass. Number 15, right in the circle. He buries the fadeaway. There's the three. Gets it to go. He gets it out on the wing with a man down low. Picks off the pass. Number three for two. Number 21 for two. Number 12 from the top of the key.
Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. With the power dribble. The lane. Post comes open. Inside. Number 50 gets the ball. Goes. Timeout's call. Time is not on their side right now, Brad. They need some big shots, baby. The players got a much needed breather with that timeout. Number 12 tries a three. Steals the ball. T.O. Cole. Hey, we got a barn burner here, baby. I'm thinking last second shot for the win, Mr. Nessler. Coming out of the timeout, I'd expect we're going to see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. Number 34 takes the pass. They go into a zone offense in response to this defense. A half-court trap. Defense trying to get the trap in the corner. Number 21 with the ball. Steals the pass. What a great drive to the basket. Stepping up big time. Really executing a tack of the basket. They stop the clock with a foul. That's an intentional foul. Committed to manage the clock. So they get lazy with the ball, and a hungry team will take advantage of that, Brad. He takes the shot. Makes it. We've got a timeout here. They keep it the same out of the huddle, baby. This one's too close to call for me, Mr. Nestler. Puts up the tray. Hard off the rim. And we are headed for overtime. I hope not too many fans gave up their seats, Brad. Regulation sells nothing. Bring on overtime. The crowd is here tonight. What an atmosphere. Number 15 draws the person. Got it. He was hit in midair, but he still laid the ball in. This kid can play, Brad. He goes as hard to the rack as anybody out there. They're trying to get him into a trapping position. Takes away the pass. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Tough basket amid the contact. Number 50 blocks the shot. He looks to run. Number 24 for two. Nick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Number 34 for two. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. two-on-one sweet looking shot he is super he really is number 21 makes a great move to draw the foul 
He steps up to the line. He hits the first shot. Second one is no good. He gets the ball on the wing. Down low is open if he wants. And he makes the three. He attempts the shot. That would give him four points for that. He unloads a three. That's good. He shoots. Easy one. Balls kicked right back out. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. He takes the shot from the baseline. You bet. Number 50 for two. Time out. Both teams will get a breather here. We'll get a chance to talk things over. Back to the live action we go. Takes the shot. He gets it to go. Steps out nicely. Defense playing tight here. We'll take the shot. We've got a timeout on the floor. Well, it's the biting time. It is close, baby. No changes out of the timeout. The stands are rumbling. Fans are grumbling. It's getting crazy, baby. Kicks it out. Got a wide open look. Gets it back out. Five seconds to put it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. Time out on the floor. Afraid to look, baby. This one's going to be too close to call. And a long three. Didn't get the roll on that one. They're going to give us another period, Dick. Hey, one more may not even be enough, Brad. These teams want this game bad. The coaches have these kids ready to roll as overtime number two is about to begin. And up off the glass, he gets the bucket. He fires it. He hits it. He 
He puts up the shot. Rims out. Man down low as the ball hits the wing. Player slides out past the arc off the screen. He shoots from the baseline. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. Fed the low block. Tries a two-pointer. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. We'll let her rip. We were just trying to draw some contact. He was out of control. Defense quickly closing out on that pass. Shoots from the outside. Off the back of the iron. Now try to penetrate, and they do. In and out. Inside. Number 15 comes up with it. Here we go on the break. Number 34 is pounded on his way up. It's good. He drew the foul off the hard take to the hoop. Nice job, young man. With one attempt. Gets it. Great defense. Spacing so important. Where's he go? Where's he go? Oh, man. Hard foul there. I consider that one unsportsmanlike, Brad, and he should be given a zig. For the basket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Or two. Fakes a jumper. He takes the shot off the baseline. Number three. Or two. He got off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. And up off the glass. He splits the double with a dribble. He launches away. Timeout. The second slowly ticking away here, Dick. Hey, they've got to trim this lead if they want to have a chance to win this thing. Coach sticks with the same five, Dick, despite being down and going down the stretch. Tries for two. He nails the shot. And up off the glass. Time out. Comeback is still not over question, Brad. Coach sends out the same five as before. He throws up the shot. Great shot. Intercepted. They need to foul here. Good hands there, causing the loose ball. They got the ball back. Should they call a timeout now? Most definitely. Time to talk it over. We've got a timeout. 
Hey, despite being down late in the contest, the coach is keeping the same troops. He intentionally fouls there. They want to manipulate that clock as much as possible. Number 12 going to the line for the first time tonight. Rims out. The Golden Gophers need to score here to make this a one-possession game. Timeout. We'll take one, too. We'll be back in a moment. They're going to keep it the same, Dick. No changes after the huddle. He may have wanted to get these guys focused on getting back in the game, Brad. He lines up the three. Follow them early and give your team a chance. Whistle's blown for the intentional foul. Time is running out for them, baby. Desperation time. He makes the front end of the one and one. Makes the shot. We've got a timeout. Dick and I will be back in a moment. That's a good T.O., baby. It'll be interesting to see who responds how out of the timeout, Brad. up the three ball nice shot coach calls for a timeout he wants to talk some things over sometimes timeouts can take teams right out of their rhythm Brad. let's see what happens here it's overtime baby let's see where my ptps are who's ready to take control any predictions brad no dick i think i'll just stick to the commentating rather than trying to predict the future the officials and coaches look as tired as these kids enter an overtime period number three. He pulls up for the J out of transition. And it rattled around and he got the shooter's roll. Picks off the lazy pass. Three on two fast break. Puts up the shot. Great control off the contact for the bucket. Number 50 with a defensive foul. Draws the foul and gets the basket. He's into it. Win, baby. That's his name. I like that in the player. Number 12 is going to the charity line. Have to make the free throw. With the shot. Knocked out of there. Blocked. He leaves the defender with a behind-the-back crossover. He comes up empty. Now the drive all the way in. Scores it, and he's fouled. So an and one opportunity here. To the charity strike. Sinks it. For two, 
finger roll. He tries the three. He's money with a shot. Number 12 is called for the foul. Third personal foul. Misses the first. He can't buy one. Penetrate. He unloads. Oh, it was a brick. Challenging like that really makes the offense think twice about putting the shot up. It's really almost as good as a block. He shoots it. Up. Easy one. He buries the shot. Number 21 for two. Affected Brad. A lot of pressure on that basketball. That's their key to their defense. Pressure the ball, denying the wings. Number two takes it away. They push it up on the break. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Number 13 for two. They get the intentional foul. They're trying to control that clock as much as possible, Brad. First shot, good. Makes the second. Here's a screen set up for a three-point shot. He drains the bucket. They make an intentional foul. These guys still believe they can win this thing, Brad. First one is good. Hits the second. Town bricks it off the iron. He fires away. He stops the clock with an intentional foul. Good foul. There's still time for them to win this one, Brad. Makes his first. Second one is good. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. <laughs> Launches a prayer. Off the rim and no good. Minnesota loses this one in overtime. This is the type of game that the coaching staff will be studying for weeks to come. Well, Dick, what play wins the prize as the game-changing performance? This basket plus the foul made my day, baby. And it changed the outlook of the whole game, if you ask me. You're right, partner. Oh, absolutely. And that'll do it. For Dick Vitale, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, folks. <laughs>